In this video, we're going to solve these three differential equations. So let's start with number one. Uh, we're going to go straight to the auxiliary equation. So that would be m squared take away 10m plus 25 equals zero. Now this is a quadratic that we can factorize because that is m take away five, all squared equals zero. And so that implies that m is equal to five. So we've got one repeated real root. So that means that the differential equation, the general solution, would be y is equal to c1 times x plus c2 times by e to the 5x. Okay, and so that would be the general solution that I need to find for number one. Right, so number two, again, straight in with the auxiliary equation, m squared plus m take away 56 is equal to zero. Now again, this is a quadratic that we can factorize. This would be m plus eight take, oh, sorry, times m take away seven is equal to zero. So m is equal to minus eight or m is equal to seven. So the general solution, because we've got two real distinct roots, would be y is equal to some constant c1 times e to the minus 8x plus some constant c2 times e to the power of 7x. And so that is my general solution for question number two. So number three. Again, straight in with the auxiliary equation, we get m squared plus 8m plus 65 is equal to 0. Right, I can't immediately spot if that factorizes. So I'm going to go to my quadratic solver. So 1865, and we get minus 4 plus or minus 7i. Okay, so we've got complex roots here. So that means that the general solution will be y is equal to e to the power of the real part, minus 4, lots of x, times by constant 1 times cosine of 7x, plus constant 2 times sine of 7x. And so that is the general solution for number three.